New tonight, a new lawsuit in federal court is targeting city officials for the Makaha crash that injured six people two years ago. This comes after three other lawsuits in state court. Our chief investigative reporter, Lynn Kawano, has more. The attorney for the teen critically injured in the crash says he filed the new expanded lawsuit out of frustration. He says the city is violating his client's civil rights. The new complaint takes aim at Honolulu's mayor, corporation counsel, prosecuting attorney, police chief, and the officers criminally charged, saying the alleged chase violated Dayton Govea's search and seizure protections and due process rights. Govea was 14 years old in September of 2021. He was a passenger in a white Honda sedan that was allegedly being chased by Honolulu police officers without lights and sirens. Govea was initially paralyzed in the crash. He is improving, but will need care for the rest of his life. Govea's attorney has a negligence lawsuit already in state court, but Monday filed the second suit in federal court. The process by which the police officers pursued the car was unconstitutional. Well, initially, we filed uh, just a negligence case in state court. Again, because it's so clear and because the conduct was so outrageous, assuming that the, that the city would accept responsibility. Four officers are facing criminal charges, but none specific to what happened to Govea. Officer Joshua Nahulu faces the most serious charge, accused of causing an accident involving death or serious bodily injury to the driver of the sedan. Officers Eric Smith, Jake Bartolome, and Robert Lewis III are charged with hindering prosecution and conspiracy. The officers allegedly left the scene after the car went airborne and flipped. They returned only after 911 calls were made. Govea's attorney accuses the city of not negotiating in good faith after settlement talks broke down. We were hoping that we could resolve it and get for Dayton the services that he needs. Right now his family is struggling horribly two years after this incident to take care of him. In a statement, the City Department of Corporation Counsel said they are reviewing the new complaint filed Monday in federal court and they have negotiated with Govea's attorney, but the parties did not reach an agreement. Another lawsuit with four other injured passengers settled at $4.5 million and another filed by the driver is still pending. The state criminal trial for the officers is scheduled for December 18th. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.